This is a picture of the library at Alexandria, 48 BC, that was burned to the ground. We shudder to think about what was lost, all the plays, the poems, the plans. That was the genius of generations. Losing data and not having access to data is a big deal. And we don't have to go back to 48 BC. Just a few Sundays ago, 90% of Brazil's National Museum was destroyed. All the priceless artifacts dating back to thousands of years. I don't have to tell anyone in this audience the value of data. It is our business, it is our community, it's our lives. I believe in something I call the data imperative. Simply put, it's our responsibility as we go through digital transformation, where it is not just profitable and smart and open, but it's also wise. As Dinesh had talked about earlier, pizza is not a fruit. When we look back at the dark ages, for all intents and purposes, what we had was a data swamp. People had the knowledge to survive, but not the wisdom to thrive. And then came along the printing press, where in first time in the history, it helped us capture, store, and share data at scale. Leading to massive multidisciplinary thinking, all great innovation happens when culture, people, ideas, and technologies come together. So the moral of the story here is that when you make information available from a variety of different data sources, new ideas emerge and outdated paradigms change. Forget the adage where it says that you can never cross the same river twice. In today's world, you cannot generate the same report twice. Businesses used to be Newtonian, which is fixed, measurable, predictable. We are moving more and more to be quantum, which is fluid, probabilistic, and unpredictable. The days of machines in basements generating monthly reports are long gone. You know all the Vs in this space, add one more, volatility. When policies are these days made over a tweet, how can you survive? What is your competitive mode so that you're able to be as disruptive as the disruptors? The average lifespan of companies in S&P 500 used to be 60 to 70 years. This year, the lifespan will be around 22 years. Who knows what it'll be next year? This equates to a massive epidemic for today's companies. So how do you strengthen your corporate immune system to be able to survive against these issues? So let's think about a couple of different items. So one is being able to automate the knowns, automate the repeatable processes, and then also augment the unknowns, being able to augment humans' ability to be able to do their jobs better by correcting the biases that they have, by also allowing them to explore the unknowns, the what-ifs. Let's take banking as an example, since we are here in New York. So there is a constant struggle by the back office to be able to keep up with the changing regulations and to meet the compliance reports. At the same time, the front office is getting hammered with new business models, with startups coming up with new technologies. So how do you meet these requirements? The only choice is to be as disruptive as the disruptors. Earlier, customers had only one option, which is the bank. Now it is the bank and Apple Pay, Venmo, Bitcoin, and more. So that being the case, where static predictability is gone, the solution is self-service, 
and democratization of data. You want to empower your people where they have access to the right data at the right time in the right formats. And this goes beyond just banking. You are able to use data in this manner to be able to come up with new products and services that delight your customers, to be able to meet your compliance requirements in near real time, and to be able to make better, faster decisions because risks and rewards are baked in. But the key here is that your data needs to be accurate, fresh, and reliable. And you need to give access to the right people when they need it and where they need it using a modern self-service data platform. So just to summarize, what got us out of the dark ages was democratization of the data in form of a printing press. What will get businesses out of today's dark ages is also democratization of data in terms of a self-service data platform. Remember Alexandria. So if you want to fireproof your data, think about a self-service data lake platform with a managed and governed view. Thank you.